Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to part two of the Armageddon pay-per-view. We are kicking things off with the World Tag Team Championship match as the Tag Team Champions Ed Edge and Christian make their way to the ring. They have elected to come in first in this match. I'm not really sure why, but they are taking on the NWO Scott Halls and Kevin Nash here tonight for the Tag Team Champions approach. Of course, if you guys have been enjoying this series so far, be sure to smash that like button. Leave a comment down in the comment section below what you think of this series so far and what you thought of part one. Part one was lit. You guys need to go back and check it out if you haven't already. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And turn on notifications to stay up to date. Because like I said in the last episode, we are almost we are so close to beginning the road to WrestleMania after the Armageddon. We got the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, which of course is a cross-branded pay-per-view. But right now, we got the part two of Armageddon. So let's bring out Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. These fans are obviously not too happy about them, about the fact that Scott Hall and Kevin Nash are coming out here. But uh, they're usually out by now, they're usually on the ramp by now. Where are they? Their music is still playing, but I, what the hell's going on? What the hell? Scott Hall in the back, laid out. He's unconscious back there. What the hell? Kevin Nash too? What the hell's going on here? The challengers for the World Tag Titles have been laid out backstage. And wait, wait a minute. Batista and Flair? Are they behind this? Is this what Ric Flair and Seth Rollins were talking about earlier in the evening? Did they take out Scott Hall and Kevin Nash? Do they really think they're going to get a tag team championship match like that? Batista and Ric Flair, we have no proof. But it's likely that those two took out Scott Hall and Kevin Nash before their match for the World Tag Titles. Look at them walking out here like nothing happened. We all know what happened. And these fans clearly expressing their feelings towards Batista and Flair. Are we really going to do this? There's no way. Batista, we're really going to do this. We're really going to have the World Tag Team Championship match. Batista and Ric Flair inserted themselves into this into this contest. And I guess we're going to roll with it. Ric Flair told Eric Bischoff, and look at the, li listen to these fans. And they are right to be calling Batista and Flair assholes. These fans clearly expressing their feelings towards Batista and Ric Flair. But nevertheless, Edge and Christian are fighting tag champs. Ready for it or not, they're going to put those titles on the line right here, right now, to kick off part two of Armageddon. I guess this is really going to happen. Ric Flair coming right out the gate with clothesline, taking down Edge. Jesus. Ric Flair told Eric Bischoff, on the last episode of Monday Night Raw that it wasn't good enough that that waiting for their opportunity wasn't good enough Ric Flair and, and and just a few weeks ago Ric Flair and Triple H were plotting and saying that one way or another Evolution's walking out with every championship at Armageddon and I guess we know we finally know what they were talking about as Ric Flair drops edge down look at this knee to the freaking to the, the neck look at a cut the cut the breath out of edge and now stomp right to the face I don't believe this and these fans clearly not behind this match whatsoever we we're supposed to get edge and Christian versus the NWO not edge and Christian versus evolution this isn't right at all and Ric Flair just working over edge here of course Batista and Ric Flair were gonna get their tag team championship match Opportunity at some point in the future. Oh, big right hand, big shot by Batista. 
But Eric Bischoff said they had to wait because NWO invoked the rematch cost. And good God. Good God Almighty Batista. Ric Flair saying that, that was not good enough, Eric. Not by a long shot. And I guess now we know what they meant. What he meant by that. What Evolution's been plotting since since after Survivor Series. Apparently, as Batista look at picking the edge up from the floor. Tossing him to the other side of the ring. Christian can do nothing but look on here. Now look at look at Batista. Almost disrespecting. Just rubbing it in the face. Doing it right in front of Christian. Showing Edge, hey, here's your tag team partner. But you're not getting to him. Of course, at, to kick off Armageddon, we saw Seth Rollins capture the Anaconda no champion. And I guess Batista and Ric Flair are looking to do the same here right now. Edge is just unresponsive to everything. Batista and Flair. Oh, my God. Edge has been busted open. Edge was busted open by that knee. By the hardcore champion. Here comes Edge. Batista went for a spear. But Edge reversed with a knee. And he's going to tag in Christian. That's probably the smart thing. Christian is fresh. But Batista doesn't care. A side slam by Batista. Good God. Oh, now, now Batista tossing Rick Christian across the ring. Come on, Christian. Come on, Christian. There you go, Christian. Oh, Ric Flair from behind. The referee was distracted, I think. Or he just doesn't care. Maybe they paid off the referee too. Referee too I don't know. But Batista, Jesus. Batista in for the cover. Hook of the leg. Edge breaks it up. Now, Ric Flair in the rain from behind. Edge with all that blood in his face. Didn't see him. Oh, back suplex. Taking out Edge. And Batista and Christian. Ooh. There's almost nothing that these two can do about it. They weren't prepared for Batista and Ric Flair. They were pre prepared for the NWO. A team of which they've actually beaten in the past. Good God. Batista with those elbows. Just one after another after another. These fans want Christian to get back into this match. But I don't know Batista. Oh no. No, 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 no. No Batista with it. Here it comes. Batista bomb. Good God. These fans are chanting Christian. But I don't think Christian can hear him. To Oh maybe he can. Maybe Christian can hear him. Maybe he has a, a little bit of fight. Maybe he's got something left in the tank. He needs to pull it out now as Batista tags in Ric Flair. Oh, good God, come on. It's an all out of salt. And here comes Christian. Here comes Christian. Look at this. Drops him down. Flashback. Takes down Ric Flair. Christian's getting back into the mix here. Hopefully he's got to capitalize though. But Ric Flair. Christian wasn't able to capitalize. Oh, but wait a minute. Maybe he can. Maybe he can. Better spinning back elbow takes down Ric Flair. The Nature Boy, the 16-time oh, world heavyweight champion. Christian looking to get back into this match. Looking to get something going for his team. Big drop kick reversed by Ric Flair. And every notice that every time Ric Flair Batista hits a move, these fans quickly go from cheering to booing. They are not behind Evolution. One bit here tonight. Let's look at Ric Flair. Come on. Ref, you got to get him out of there. Get him out of the corner. Get him out of the corner. Christian needs to make a tag here, and he does. Christian tags in. Edge. And here comes the other half of the tag team champs. What a big clothesline. Went for a right hand, though. Ric Flair reversed. Edge with all that blood in his eyes. Can't, can't see a damn thing. I think this might be over. Ric Flair looking for that figure four leg lock. Oh, edge with a reversal. Edge reversal clothesline into the corner. This is Edge's opportunity. He's got to get something going here. He's got to get something going here. Nice stop. In for the cover, maybe. Yes, he is. In for the cover. Hook of the leg. Oh, my God. Someone's got to put Flair down. There we go. Look at the wear down Ric Flair. That'll help. That'll help. 
Oh, Ric Flair back up to his feet. Ric Flair back up to his feet. Oh, wait. Edge got him. Edge got him. What's he doing here? Sends Ric Flair off the ropes. Oh, big boot. What a big boot. That may be the turning point of this match. That may be the turning point here as Edge sends Ric Flair into the corner. Damn it. Damn it, Ric Flair. Reversing. I thought we were about to get something going here, but Ric Flair, look at... Oh, double underhook suplex. And that move is devastating. Oh, but Edge trying to fight back. Trying to fight back. And he does. Look at this. Northern Lights suplex. In for the pin. In for the pin. Can he do it here? No. Edge, I think he's looking for a spear. I think he's looking to spear Ric Flair. And he does. And that could be it. Cover. Get him, Edge. Get him, Edge. Damn it. Batista kicked. Broke it up. Oh, and Batista. Oh, Batista's getting involved now. And now he's going to step out of the ring. So he doesn't, he doesn't want to cost them the opportunity to win the tag chant, the tag titles. Batista knows better than that. And look at Edge though. Edge with the right hand. Knocks Batista off the apron. A little bit of payback. But that, that payback provided Ric Flair with a distraction that he needed. And again, the reaction of this capacity crowd just shifted. Immensely. Ooh. There you go, Edge. Come on, Edge. Fight back, Edge. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Rick F oh, here comes Edge. Here he comes. Big clothesline. Face first goes Flair. Face first goes Flair. That could be it. Big elbow. To the back. To the small of the back. Damn it. Rick Flair. Elbow to the gut. Try not to be optimistic, but I gotta be honest with you. I want Edge Christian to retain those titles. Oh, went for a corner spear, but Edge tripped. Edge tripped on that corner spear. So much blood in his eyes, he couldn't he couldn't see where he was going, and he tripped. Ric Flair. Oh, trying to tag in Batista, but Edge fighting back. Edge not gonna not gonna be denied here tonight. Oh, but neither is Flair. Tags in Batista. Tags and Batista now real trouble comes. And look at Batista. Look at the power of the animal. Edge wants to tag in Christian, but he's not gonna let it happen. He's not gonna let it happen and again. Same knee that busted open edge. Look at Batista up on the shoulders. Big Samoan drop. Listen to this capacity crowd booing Evolution out of the building. Batista with a spine buster. And for the cover, that could be it here. Hook of the leg and no edge. Edge not going down that easy. Edge doesn't want to go down that easy, but I, I don't know. Edge is hurt. Edge is hurt bad. And he can't make it in for the tag. Can't make it in for the tag. God damn it. No, no, no. Not, a, not to Edge. Not to Edge. He hit this on Christian. And it didn't do the damage. But Edge, Edge is hurt. Edge is hurt. And then Batista bomb connecting. Batista bomb connecting. Cover. Hook of the leg. Damn it. Evolution wins the Raw Tag Champs. God damn it. Edge and Christian tried to hand in there, but they weren't ready for Evolution. God damn Batista and Flair. God damn them. This is not the match that was supposed to happen. I don't know who the hell let this match happen. But we have new tag team champions, and it's not Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. It's Batista and Ric Flair.
Well, after that disappointing tag team championship match, we look to turn things over here because, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is the main event of Armageddon. It is the six-man Armageddon Hell in a Cell match for the World Heavyweight Championship. But we have a new uh, World Heavyweight Champion here tonight. Or will Triple H hold on to the title? Will Evolution walk out of Armageddon? With all the titles on Raw, we'll, we'll find out next. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the one of the most anticipated matches in Armageddon history. The six-man Armageddon Hell in a Cell match for the World Heavyweight Championship. And making his way to the ring first from Miami, Florida. A former world champion, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The Rock is in the building and he's looking to capture his first world title of this series. The Rock returned to Monday Night Raw the night after Survivor Series calling out Triple H. Those two would have a match later that night where The Rock would get the victory but another, com another competitor in this match would get involved. With all the people that have been involved, all the what's going on here, we have five people all staking their claim for the world title. All these people are tired of being complacent. They all want to move up in the WWE. They all want to capture that brass ring. They all want the World Heavyweight Championship. And General Manager Eric Bischoff said, you guys all want it this bad. You're going to have to fight for it. And you're going to fight for it inside the Hell in a Cell match. And that's what brings us tonight as The Rock looks to win another championship. Looks to put another title win under his belt. Let's see if he can do it. Certainly is no easy feat for any of these com competitors. But anything is possible here in the WWE. And this is just a first entrance, ladies and gentlemen. We can have five more to go. Coming out next. The man who staked his claim at the expense of now newly crowned tag team champion Batista. CM Punk is on his way to the ring. CM Punk is a former hardcore champion. He won the hardcore title on his first night in the WWE. And he held on to it for quite a few months before he lost it to Batista in a steel cage match. And after that night, Batista, uh, CM Punk could have asked for his rematch clause, but he said, I don't want it. He didn't want a rematch for the Hardcore Championship. He knew he could win it back if he really wanted to. But CM Punk said that the Hardcore Championship was just a stepping stone to the World Heavyweight Championship. And he's looking to capture that title right here tonight. CM Punk going face to face with the likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Randy Orton, who is currently injured, by the way. CM Punk has done quite a bit here in the WWE. Cactus Jack of all names. And CM Punk has conquered some of the greatest superstars to ever step foot in a WWE reign. And right now he looks to conquer five others to capture his first World Heavyweight Championship. There's someone that has a similar mindset to CM Punk. It is the Rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin, of course, returning at the Survivor Series pay-per-view when he came down to the ring and stunned Triple H after he had just defeated Kurt Angle in the main event of Survivor Series. Not the main event, the co-main event of Survivor Series. Stone Cold came down to the ring and stunned Triple H, staking. He was the first one to stake his claim for the World Heavyweight Championship. So needless to say, he may be a little bit surprised at the fact that he's now fighting four other superstars other than Triple H for the World Heavyweight title. But if there's anyone that doesn't have much of a problem with it, it is Stone Cold Steve Austin. He, he was once considered the baddest man on the planet. Went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mike Tyson. Now coming to the ring. The big red machine came. And 
this le this past week on Monday Night Raw came. He showed everyone that he may be a dominant factor here in this Hell in a Cell match. We may have New World Heavyweight Champion. It may be Kane. Where is he? Are you kidding me? No Kane again. N nothing again. The second time this has happened. What the hell is going on here at Arm again? This is a main event. What is happening? Wait a minute, backstage. Kane and Raw, oh, Kane and Rob Van Dam, these two have been inseparable ever since Kane turned on Van Dam about like a month ago. These two have been going. They, they've been at each other's throats. Going on two months now. And Rob Van Dam has had it up to here with Kane this past Monday night on Raw. Kane threw Rob Van Dam off the stage. And it looks like Van Dam's getting a little bit of payback. But these two are supposed to be in the main event. These two are supposed to be in the main event. It's happening right now. These two can't wait five minutes to get their hands on each other. No, they can't. There's so much animosity between these two as Van Dam fighting back. What the hell are we supposed to do now? Oh. Van Dam and Kane. One for right hand. Oh. Van Dam with it. Caught him. Big kick to the head. Oh. 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 Van Dam lays out Kane. Van Dam just laid out Kane. These two are supposed to be in the Hell in a Cell match. What, what are we supposed to do now? What are we... I... Okay. Okay. Yep. Alright. I, I guess... I'm being told... That if Kane and Rob Van Dam... Couldn't wait to get inside the cell before they got their hands on each other... They don't need to be in the championship match. This match has turned into a fatal four-way for the World Heavyweight Championship. Making its way to the ring, it's the World Heavyweight Champion Triple H. From what I'm from what I'm understanding, Rob Van Dam and Kane are still fighting backstage, and Eric Bischoff said that if they can't wait, then they don't deserve to be in the match. So this match has now turned into a fatal four-way Hell in a Cell match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Kane and Rob Van Dam just ruined their own opportunity to go to WrestleMania. In one night, they ruined their own opportunity at the World Heavyweight Championship. They ruined the, their own opportunity to submit their their legacy here in the WWE. And look at in the background, Stone Cold and The Rock just staring each other down. There's a lot of animosity between those two as well. There's there's unfinished business between The Rock and Austin as, as we've been seeing in the past few weeks. Things things are crazy. I, I don't know again, folks. But nevertheless, it's time for the main event. Triple H in the rain. We got all four of the competitors that are now going to be a part of this match. Rob Van Dam and Kane still can't, can't, still can't stop beating the hell out of each other backstage. I'm receiving word that security tried to break them up and they, they, they both just laid out security and then continued fighting. Security wants nothing to do with Van Dam and Kane right now. They're just fighting back, fighting amongst each other backstage. Uh, I'm hoping that we can get some updates as this match goes on. We can't, we can't tear away from the main event of Armageddon too much. But I'll, I'll try to keep you guys informed. Hopefully, we can keep you guys informed on what's happening backstage between Van Dam and Kane. But, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event, the World Heavyweight Championship match. The World Heavyweight Title is on the line. Triple H. The odds are stacked against him here tonight, as he says. Once again, not the first time, is what Triple H seems to think. That the odds are stacked against him. But can Triple H walk out with the title? He has a 25% chance of walking out of the, of the Hell in a Cell with the World Heavyweight Championship. Here tonight. 25%. Those, those odds are not that great. We have a 75% chance. That we're going to have a new World Heavyweight Championship champion here tonight. We're going to have to see as Triple H and CM Punk going straight at each other. And Stone Cold and Austin, like I said, unfinished business between those two. Oh, The Rock sends Austin to the outside. Oh, Triple H with the right hand to CM Punk. These two have, have given, been in a verbal affair almost. CM Punk and Triple H went... 
or face to face just a few weeks back. And look at Triple H. Disrespect to CM Punk as the Rocket Austin continue to fight on the outside. As Stone Cold gets sent face first into that that Hell in a Cell. That Cell is unforgiving. And so are the right hands by Austin. Four of WW four of Monday Night Raw's top competitors in a Hell in a Cell match. Here. There's no way that one of these superstars is walking out unscathed. Ooh. Stone Cold just hit that cell hard. And Triple H in the rain by himself. Look at it. Look at Triple H. And CM Punk just realizing that Triple H was talking smack. And here comes CM Punk. Takes him down. Gonna try to keep up with all the action here. Punk and, uh, Punk and the Rock. Or Punk and Triple H on the inside of the ring. Rock and Austin on the outside. Right hand by Triple H. Another right hand. Off the ropes goes CM Punk. Knee to the face. Steve Austin sending the rock down to the other side. Those two just beating the hell out of each other on the outside of the ring. As Punk looking at the shots to the, to the leg of Triple H. Oh, big knee to the face by Punk. Big knee to the face. One for Bulldog with Triple H for the reversal. Triple H reversed. Oh, but CM Punk looking for this suplex, but no. Triple H reversed. Big clothesline lays him out. That's the Rock with a big right hand on Austin on the outside. Oh, and then right into the rain post. Triple H sends CM Punk into the cell. Spine first into the cell and look at Triple H now. And Austin gets sent into the ring. And Rock follows Triple H. Teeing off on Austin. Big clothesline. The Rock going to shift his attention towards CM Punk. CM Punk wants Triple H, so CM Punk doesn't care about The Rock. Oh, big right hand. And oh, The Rock with a spine buster. And Triple H, double A spine buster. Just laid out The Rock. We may, he may retain the title here tonight. Cover. Oh, kick out at two by The Rock. And now he's trying to get the pin off from The Rock spine buster. But, but Austin was right there to break it up. And Austin, ooh, stomping a mud hole in CM Punk. It's a Triple H now working over the rock. Triple H, second rope. Look at this. He doesn't do this too often. Need to right to the back of the rock. Right hand by Austin on Punk. And then another right hand. Austin sends Punk out of the rain. Triple H in the rock. Look at this. Suplex from the apron into the ring. See, it's Stone Cold. Stone Cold and Punk are on the outside. Triple H and The Rock in the rain. As we go backstage, we're going to get a little more update. What's going on here is Van Dam fighting back on Kane. Oh, look at... Ooh! Kane, RVD is absolutely relentless. He is beating the hell out of Kane. Never thought I would be able to say those two words in a sentence. Good God. Never thought I'd be able to say that RVD was beating Kane. As we go back into the ring, though, Triple H... Has the rock in, in the other corner. And Austin has punk on the ground. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Sending punk to the outside once again. Triple H sending the rock to the outside. Ooh, the ref accidentally got taken out, I guess. And and punk punk and triple H. Look at the loot that's press. Look at the loot that's press by Stone Cold. Stone Cold with a fist come raining down on Triple H. Triple H could be looking to close in. Stone Cold could be looking to close in. He, he dragged him in the center of the ring cover. Hook a little leg. He may have him here, but no. Don't know why we have cameramen on the outside side. We need him inside the side where all the action is. But, but nevertheless, Stone Cold looking for a stunner here. Kick to the gut. Stone Cold stunner. Down goes Triple H. We may have a new world heavyweight champion here. Cover. Hook of the leg. One. Does he have him too? Stone Cold? No. Triple H kicks out at two. Triple H is willing to do whatever it takes to keep that World Heavyweight title. And here comes Austin off the ropes. Look at that. And a knee right to the face. Oh, good God. Austin just beating the absolute hell out of Triple H. I don't think he was happy that he kicked out of the stunner. 
And now Austin could be looking for a stunner again. Kick to the gun, another stunner coming up. No, Triple H, Triple H for the reversal. Triple H reversed. Fist, oh, shot right to the head. And The Rock back in the ring. CM Punk also back in the ring. But CM Punk still only wants to deal with Triple H right now. And The Rock doesn't care about that at all. And here comes Triple H and The Rock. Triple H teeing off on The Rock. It's The Rock gonna respond. Here he comes, right hand by The Rock. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Rock bottom, rock bottom connecting. That could be it. New World Heavyweight Champion CM Punk is up to his feet though and CM Punk breaks it up. That's gonna be difficult for any of these superstars to get the pin when they're all inside the cell. What is going on here? Punk and Austin. Oh, what? A, wait a minute, what's this? A stereo. Triple H, The Rock and Austin working in stereo. Triple H and Punk roll to the outside. Now we got The Rock and Austin teeing off, but Kane and Van Dam with an elbow. Oh, look at Van Dam. Look at Van Dam. Look at this. Down goes Kane. Down goes Kane and Van Dam. Wait a minute. No, no, no. What, what the hell is he doing? What is Van Dam doing? Van Dam is on top of that production truck. Kane is on the on the cement floor. He's not gonna. Oh my God! Oh my! What the hell? Wait a minute! In, in the rain, the rock, rock bottom on Stone Cold. What? Co cover, hook of the leg. You may have him. You may have him. No. Austin kicked out. Van Dam did a moonsault off the production truck on top of Kane, who was laying on the cement floor. And, and I'm not receiving word that when Van Dam hit, it messed, it messed with our cameras. Our cameras cut out. But hold on, in, in for the cover again. Steve Austin kicks out of two. Van Dam and Kane are being taken away on a stretcher as we speak. Van Dam landed face first on top of King on the cement floor off the production truck. That is absolutely insane. Triple H and CM Punk are laid out on the outside of the ring. I don't know where. I don't know how. Oh. It, 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 this. It, it is breaking down here at Armageddon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. The Rock and Austin battling on the outside of the ring. Oh. Face first into the cell goes The Rock. And Stone Cold, Steve Austin kicked to the gut. Wait a minute, what the hell is he doing? Steve Austin, wait a minute, through the cell! A power bomb through the cell! Austin broke out of the cell using The Rock's body as a battering ram. He used Rock's body as a battering ram to break through the cell. But The Rock back up to his feet, right hand. So much animosity between these two. They can't get over. They can't get over the fact. That once it oh, these two battling on the outside and inside the ring, Triple H and Punk are battling out as well. Punk and uh, the Rock and Austin are now battling up on the stage. Like I said, there's clearly unfinished business between the Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. A right hand by Triple H. Oh, Sam Punk with a reversal takes him down. What is Punk doing here? Oh, he's got a triangle choke on H. He's got a triangle choke on, choke on Triple H. Triple H may be fading here. He may have to tap. So does Triple H have the... Can he muster up the strength to lift him up? And, oh, look at that. He does. He does. Triple H was close to fading. He had enough strength to, to break out of there. Let's see him Punk still. Ooh, neck breaker. Down he goes. Triple H is in trouble. His chances of retaining his World Heavyweight Championship have faded. And they may fade right now. Oh, he went. CM Punk went for that patent that signature kick. But Triple H reversed it. S sends him up flying up in the air and goes. He goes face first into the canvas. Oh my god. Face first into the canvas. And here comes Triple H. Triple H now. Look at this. Pedigree. Triple H did it. Triple H is going to retain cover. Hook of the leg. He's got no. CM Punk stays in it. CM Punk stays in it. He is making a believer out of the game.
here tonight. Oh my god. Something similar to this has happened up on the stage between The Rock and Austin. They completely forgot it that they're in a World Heavyweight Championship match. Kane and Van Dam didn't make it into the ring. Rock and Austin busted out of the ring. Look at CM Punk back suplex. Now what's he doing here? Here comes Punk. Here comes CM Punk. Off the ropes goes Triple H. Off the rope goes Triple H. Look at those drop kicks by Punk. Ducks the clothesline. Clutches him. Oh, spinning neck breaker. CM Punk is getting back into this contest. I think, I think CM Punk has got something going here. Oh, here it goes. Kick to the side of the head. Triple H is out. Triple H is out. Oh, oh, oh. More kicks to add insult to injury. CM Punk in for the cover. We may have our new World Heavyweight Champion here. Can he do it? No. Triple H kicks out at two. Triple H kicks out at two. What does CM Punk got to do to put Triple H away? And I think he may figure that out. I think he's f finally figured out. I think he's looking for that GTS. No. Triple H reversed. Right, right hand by the game. Right hand by the game. Wait a minute. Triple H puts him on the top rope. What's he doing here? What's Triple H looking for here? Oh, Punk. Punk reversed. Punk was able to get a reversal. Kick to the gut. Shining Wizard. And that may have put Triple H out for good. That may have knocked him out cold cover. Hook of the leg. He may have him here. Oh, Triple H barely kicked out. Triple H just barely kicked out. 2.9999 repeating. CM Punk has Triple H right where he wants him. Knee to the face. And a clothesline to top it off. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Anaconda Voice. He's got the Anaconda Voice locked in. This may be it. This may be it. Triple H may have to tap. If he doesn't tap out, he's going to pass out. No, wait. Triple H. Knees to the back of the head. Forcing CM Punk to break the hold. Right hand by the game. Kick to the gut. Down goes Punk. Oh, God. Something's got to give here. These two are putting it all on the line for the World Heavyweight Championship. Knees to the face. Oh, look at this combination. Back suplex. Down goes CM Punk. Down goes Punk. Triple H. Second rope once again. Second time this match. And knee to the face once again. Knee to the face. And look at this. Spine buster by Triple H. Double A spine buster by the game. But is a pedigree going to be enough to put him away? He's already tried it once. And it didn't work. He tried it once and it didn't work. So what does Triple H have left in the bag? To put away CM Punk. Top rope. What's Triple H doing? He's, he's pondering something. Big right hand by Triple H. Oh, what the hell? No. No, 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 no. Oh, my Jesus Christ. A pedigree from the top rope. Avalanche pedigree to CM Punk. Cover. Hook of the leg. Triple H retains the World Heavyweight Championship. I don't believe what I've seen here. Rock and Austin. I don't even know where the hell they went. Cannon Van Dam got hauled out on a stretcher. And Triple H wins with an avalanche pedigree. I don't know how the hell he did it. But Triple H is still your world heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen. Evolution had a goal here tonight. And they succeeded. They now have every championship on Monday Night Raw a dark cloud has gloomed over the Monday Night Raw, Monday Night Raw roster and we're going to see where this takes us ladies and gentlemen that is it for Armageddon thank you guys so much for joining me but we're out of time